another video. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be checking out this late 70s square body Chevy. We're at my mom's house, and my mom's house is in Chatham County. God, those cars are gonna get annoying. But anyway, yeah, my mom lives in Chatham County. My dad lives in Orange, North Carolina. And uh, two different worlds, really. My mom's all not into cars and stuff, and my dad is. My dad got me into all of it. But I've seen this red late 70s square body. I don't know what the exact year is. I'm shaking because I'm sick, so don't mind that. Uh, but this truck has been sitting here since I'm gonna guess it's 2004, because there is stuff on that deck that has been messed with since 2004. There's like gift cards and stuff, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I've seen this truck ever since I moved here and it's been like 10 years. So this truck has been sitting here for a while. Today's video, we're just gonna be looking at it. We're not gonna try and get it to run because obviously it's not mine. I'm just gonna look at it. I'm not gonna do anything bad to it. I just wanna look at it. Looking at this truck all the way around, it looks uh, pretty bad. Look under here, the frame is pretty rusty, but it's still a frame. Leaf springs are pretty much shot. Shocks are shot. Uh, but everything's here, really. No one's messed with it. Stuff in the back though. Hey, that I got in this truck because this truck is actually locked. I opened the back window and I unlocked the passenger door to get inside. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I still got in it and we're gonna look at the interior now. Let's take a look in the side. It actually looks pretty complete. This is the interior. The glove box is missing. The dash is uh, dash is in pretty good condition. The door panel, this is kind of rotting away slowly. Here's the door jam. Looks pretty good. Four-wheel drive. Has... that many miles and it's an automatic but yeah overall the interior looks pretty complete yeah truck actually has two gas tanks <coughs> i only thought that the late 70s trucks that have two gas tanks were only diesels but apparently i was wrong the beefy tires i don't know how big they are i can't really see on the lettering they look pretty big. They look like 35s are bigger than me. The front right wheel well. This looks pretty bad. Here is the underside of the truck. And it's pretty rusty. Not gonna lie. Has a oil cooler. Which is pretty neat. Rusted oil pan. Nothing too crazy. I had to struggle opening the hood because of this latch right here. <coughs> because of this latch right here. You guys can't really see it, but eventually I got the hood open. Here it is. It's a 350 small block, two barrel, car two barrel carburetor. Nothing really special. It's just a square body truck. Uh, let's see, what am I gonna check? I'm probably gonna check the oil. So let's get the oil quick. Ah. Let's check this dipstick. All right, just by looking at it, you guys, can't <coughs> you guys can't really see it. I'll pull up a picture of it, but yeah, that oil looks, uh, <coughs> that oil looks pretty bad. There's a spider web on it. So that's how you know this motor has been sitting here for a long time. The oil back, we're probably gonna check the transmission fluid, so. <sighs> God damn. This truck is definitely lifted for sure. Checking the tranny. Looks, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know really how to tell of tranny fluid, but it's pretty pink. It looks pretty new, actually. Tranny fluid's supposed to be red, gear oil. No, wait, I'm probably wrong. But I know it's supposed to be red. This is pretty pink, so I don't know what that means but it's definitely overfilled, that is for sure. This truck actually came with air conditioning, so I thought that's pretty cool. But, damn, can't even get that in. But this truck actually has air conditioning. I think this brakes, right? I have no idea. Maybe they're drum brakes, I don't know, <laughs> that thing's swinging. 
Uh, this motor looks like it could run. I mean, if I had my tools with me. Ooh, why is this wire cut? Where's this wire? Oh no, this is a fucking, this is a weed. All right. Oh, there's the ground cable. That's the cable right there, I think. Yeah. No, no, that's a zip tie. Hold on. That's the ground cable. For some reason, there's a zip tie there. A lot of restrictions on this motor. That's a custom carburetor. It's two barrel. I think I said that. But yeah, this truck is actually a pretty good truck. Has air conditioning, four wheel drive, 350 small block, two gas tanks. <coughs> think power brakes too. And power steering, I think. I don't know much about these square bodies, but I know somewhat because I actually own a square body, but it's in my backyard rotting away. Look at that, just look how dirty that is, man. Jesus Christ. Battery looks pretty bad. Um, I'm probably gonna write a note, stick it on this truck, and see if the owner ever comes by and sees it. So I can uh, buy it. Cause I'll definitely buy this truck. It'll be a good truck, good uh, high school truck to fuck around with. There's a Harley, you guys won't see him. Let's put this. God damn it. All right, back. I'm just looking at the truck right now, and there's a lot of messy wires. Looks pretty stock. Looks like the original 350 to me, though. Look at the spark plug wires and the fan. Not even electric. Jesus. This truck's pretty cool to me. I love it. Pretty cool. A sticker. Damn. Right, we're just going to close this for now. Damn, the latches are fucked. This one's not even closing. This one is. Oh, there we go. God damn. So, the truck probably would be able to run. I mean, honestly, there's a reason why it's sitting here. And we're gonna go check the deck for all the parts that are there. Just look at all the parts here on the floor. I'm trying to find the keys for this truck to see if, uh, if it can even start. I would have to bring my tools, but I can't because it's not my truck, so. I'm not gonna fuck with it. I'm just looking at it. But the parts here, there's coolant that has water in it. So I think there's a coolant issue or someone tried to start it with coolant. There is a bunch of seatbelt parts here. This gift card is from 2004. You guys can't see it, but it's from 2004. There's Mountain Dew, a hose. Um, I think it's an AC dispenser. I have no idea what it is, but it's what that is. But it's not too many things here, just a lot of seatbelt parts. If you enjoyed today's video, if you guys did, make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, check out the description, you know, all that fun stuff. Not breaking into the truck, not doing any of that. I'm just looking at it, not doing anything illegal. Obviously, it's parked here for a reason. I There's no keys here. The, the owner probably still has the keys. No one lives in this house. This house is run down. But just taking a look at this truck. Maybe someday I'll make a video on this thing getting started. Who knows? I guess I'll see all you guys later.